Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Beastars season 2 episode number 10. Alright, uh, the previous episode, um, Bigoshi and Luis had a little bit of a conversation which was definitely needed for them as because like Bigoshi had no idea what Luis is doing and yeah, like they kind of had a little bit of a talk. Um, I'm sure like Luis and Legoshi are, you know, like they were friends but uh, they had a little bit of misunderstanding going on between them so i'm sure I'll, even if it's a little bit it got cleared up and uh yeah and like louis saw uh, uh not louis uh, legoshi saw what like louis is going through now what where he is and why he is doing all of these things i'm sure he got uh like understood stuff uh, after seeing uh, louis in that situation and yeah like they're uh, walking in different paths but i'm sure it leads to the same destination and uh like louis also said that become the hero that we need because i won't be able to do that so yeah and uh then comes the second portion where we find uh where like Riz, that is the bear um he was <laughs> taking the moral high ground which kind of pissed uh legoshi off and he tried to you know teach him a lesson which unfortunately would not have worked out because uh Riz has an amazing reputation in front of all these students so like instead like legoshi would have gotten the blame so thankfully pina was there he stopped him and kind of turned the whole thing around which in turn pissed Riz off because i'm sure he uh, looks at pina as some kind of a threat so yeah let's see what happens this episode so yeah guys without further ado let's get started with beastars season 2 episode number 10 all right i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started okay so here's a countdown three two one go Uh, I'm really curious to how like they're going to solve the whole risk situation because like I don't know like no like, first of all no one would believe them so like you know Legoshi has to deal with him himself and I think the best way to go through here is like uh, making Riz himself like you know uh, like say that yeah i am in the wrong here and him like admitting it himself in front of all the other students because otherwise i don't see any way this is going to go because riz has a good reputation and yeah he himself unless and until he himself admits it i doubt it will help in any way what Oh, great. <laughs> oh, who are these? Who are these? Friends or something? Oh, roommate. Wow, a roommate full of bears. The suspense of a fickle chef. What? <laughs> Um, curry and tomato? Uh, uh, okay. Oh, wow. 
Gue sih sekolah <laughs> Wow Wow His head is Oh god The symbolism Mixed us together hmm. he, I think he, you know He needs to go see a doctor first Oh great. <laughs> oh my god, he is um hmm. Wow, great. I mean like, wow. <laughs> what? <laughs> Riz is thinking like like things like that and <laughs> Legoshi here. Wow. <laughs> You're real. <laughs> oh god. Oh, what's the mouse doing there? Wow. Damn, <laughs> she used dusting the wow with his tail. Wow, that's quite nice. I'm noticing there are two stairs, one for those small legged people. Like... Oh boy. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> He's like, what? What? What's happening? Is this a dream? Wow. It's dead. Um, what? Oh god. Ugh, god damn. Um, Haru, I don't think, um... Yeah, but like <sighs> wow. Yeah. 
Hmm. Okay. <coughs> wow. And this wax with honey? Oh, okay. 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 Wow. Perfect for you. Oh. Oh, okay. <clears throat> what? Oh. Oh god. Pina. Oh, this guy, wow! <laughs> uh, it's completely on you, but still. <sighs> oh no, is Oh no. I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> yeah, the horns would get in the way. <laughs> um. Uh. God damn. What's he doing? Like sucking his finger? Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, this guy needs to be stopped. Or this bear. Yeah, he won't eat it like that. <clears throat> yeah, exactly. He, it seems as if like he doesn't care but <laughs> yeah oh god Damn. <laughs> wow, good. Come on. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Ah, you uh, it is difficult to understand, you know. <clears throat> oh 
Oh, what the? His name is Free. Okay. It's quite easy to remember. What? Okay. Hmm. Okay. Oh, he... hmm. Oh boy, yeah, this is going to escalate, like, you know, like, you need to stop him first. Oh, okay, let's hear it. Must be a good plan. Oh god. But it's dangerous, yeah. <clears throat> Oh my god, wow. <laughs> okay, let's see. Oh, he has not seen it. Oh, God. Oh! What the? <laughs> oh, great. <clears throat> Come on, show your tra like results of your training. I think it is the opposite. Yeah, he's. <clears throat> oh, come on. Okay, th this is the time. Go on, go on, go on. Whack, whack him across the face. Okay, good, good, good. Come on. Okay, you you drink it. <laughs> that will be amazing. <laughs> Just go and drink it, Legoshi. <laughs> It'll make him even like you know matter. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, that's also an option. <clears throat> Damn, Legoshi's. <laughs> oh my god, Legoshi, come on! Woof! Wow, the animation is. Okay, oh boy. Damn. <clears throat> oh, this is a scratch. Oh. Damn. His eyes, he cannot see. Oh, oh no. Yeah, yeah, you, you, like. Come on, like, do something, like... Oh, they're gonna fight here, like... <laughs> what a depressing high school, I feel. Okay, come on! Okay, he's fast. Yeah, come on. Okay, come on. Oh, on the wound, on the wound, on the wound. Whoa. Yeah, shut up. You're mad completely. 
he has gone <clears throat> yeah yeah wow damn his Come on, move! Yeah, yeah, okay. <clears throat> he can fight, but he's slow. Like, slower than Legoshi. What happened? Oh! Damn. Oh no! Oh, come on! <laughs> he is wrong in the head, you know? <laughs> yeah, what are you going to even explain? <laughs> wow. <clears throat> yeah. Oh. Oh! Damn! Uh, <laughs> come on! New Year's Eve. Okay. Wow, that was something. <laughs> yeah, like, cure them, not hand them over to the police. Yeah, like you need to, you know, put on some muscles, <laughs> some more muscles. Is there anything? Oh, let's see. Oh, yeah, I should have saw that coming. <laughs> uh, wow, that was something great. Like that was amazing. Okay, so. The first thing I should mention about this episode is the animation like it didn't even feel it was CGI I'm not sure if it is like I don't think they use CGI anymore do they or do they still use it I cannot really you know um, like I really cannot recognize the CGI because it feels as if it, there is little bits and pieces of CGI but it feels like a you know normal animated uh, like episode the like fight scenes and everything but if they're still using the cgi and making it look so good um i have to say like amazing like that's something you know <laughs> like i doubt anyone like would like is able still able to do something like this with cgi i'm not sure if they are using cgi if they are then like if they're still using cgi then it's pretty damn amazing that they are able to make something like this <clears throat> so yeah like that is the first thing that i should mention about this episode and <clears throat> other than that okay let's okay here's the end let's talk about this episode all right so uh this was episode number 10 of vistas now uh i'll like talk from the beginning uh <clears throat>
okay uh so first we see like uh riz and his roommates now here's uh like here's what happened so so riz like i talked about this in uh like you know in the episode when everything was revealed uh so riz has made this like a, a fabrication in his mind that yeah them was someone who willingly like said that yeah eat me we are best friends so eat me we will become like even better friends if you eat me and like i am within you something like this twisted kind of a you know mentality or something like this like he made it in his mind and which is like he's doing to like you know protect himself from the guilt that would otherwise crush him completely so it's like the guilt is leaking out you know like uh, the stress that he is facing and uh, all the other stuff like he is like conflicted about like the guilt is uh, you know leaking out and it's only a matter of time that the like guilt won't be able to uh, won't be contained anymore it will come out and that's the time when he would probably surrender so yeah and <clears throat> so yeah as i was saying so he uh, made this thing in his mind that he attempt uh, like willingly made himself uh, as like gave himself offered himself as a food so that their friendship could blossom even more something like that and so like in his weird way he is thinking that oh like ligoshi and uh, pina they are trying to intrude on that you know uh, friendship they are trying to um, you know contaminate that friendship which like uh, my best friend uh, them uh, like uh, like did like sacrifice himself which the, the friendship that he um, <clears throat> like tried to gain by f sacrificing himself like he's thinking stuff like that so like Legoshi and Pina they are uh, intruding on that friendship they're trying to mess that friendship so I should probably silence them and <laughs> which I'm sorry to say there is but that's not the reason like the reason why he's doing his, his own selfish reason of not you know uh, wanting his crimes to come uh, in front of everyone he wants to keep that facade he wants to keep that uh, mask in front of himself so that he can uh, protect himself and also like keep a good image in front of everyone so like it's a twisted mental like you know mentality and a twisted kind of a uh, psychological thing that is going through in his head like so like you know he is making it as if like oh like i'm uh, trying to save my friendship and like uh like but actually that's not the reason the, the reason why he is doing this is he just wants the image to be maintained and he just wants like you know uh, <clears throat> to be a good bear in front of everyone which unfortunately like uh, legoshi and pina's existence kind of uh, puts into uh, puts it into danger puts it puts his image into danger so yeah and yeah and also like uh, legoshi and pina knowing that he has killed them kind of you know makes the guilt even more and he's suffering from that so yeah like that's why he thought that yeah i need to silence them as soon as possible <clears throat> and then uh, we get to the next portion haru and legoshi uh, legoshi's portion now i don't know like you know like oh like I, I said this before like uh yeah like lewis was kind of a big deal to haru before but uh, i also kind of understand the thing that haru like explained that it's not that i like him but it's just that he is a fellow har before so i am kind of concerned about him uh like and he like like i don't know like it's kind of conflicted like a situation like if like, <laughs> like it's been quite a few days you know but still like haru is kind of still you know in his in her past and it seems like she is trying to get out of it but he, she's unable to do it unless and until like you know like louis himself comes and says that yeah i'm fine i'm okay like I'm guessing that only then, like uh, when like she understands that yeah, Louis is probably fine. He's he's going to be all right. And uh, like when he like listens to it, I think after that he she should probably be able to, you know, 
move on from her past unless and until that happens like it's like a weird position she is in and she cannot like you know she's always thinking about Louis and which uh, in a sense I feel bad for Legoshi you know like that's just it like uh, it's not that I am saying that yeah like how should probably not do this and stuff like no like it's kind of uh, like you know it's not in her hands <clears throat> it's like you know human uh, not human sorry <laughs> they're animals but still like it's like a meant you know a uh, psychological thing so <clears throat> yeah and like in this weird time like <clears throat> Luis is not here so it kind of uh, makes uh, hard worried about uh, the situation even more so <clears throat> like yeah I kind of get what she's going through but at the same time I think it's kind of not fair for <clears throat> Legoshi you know because like it's like it's more like like yeah like everything that like Legoshi is doing is for Haru's sake you know but like the main person who is like <clears throat> like the main person here Haru like she is just like always thinking about Louis always like like I know like she acknowledges Legoshi but I don't know I think it feels unfair to like Legoshi at least like you know like <clears throat> everything everything that he is doing is for Haru's sake and um I don't know so like I kind of said this before like uh, I said that yeah it would probably take a little bit of time for Haru to cope up with everything especially because uh, Legoshi is a carnivore and she's a herbivore and that like Louis is not here at that at this moment <clears throat> so I kind of said that but now I'm thinking that yeah like I've said that but still like it doesn't make it easy for Legoshi like you know like like what happened here like uh, like I feel bad for him like you know Haru was like saying like kind of hugging him and saying that uh, <clears throat> what, what was she saying just a sec uh, like yeah I like you you're strong kind and reliable and then she suddenly says that, um, but I, the more I fall in love with you, Legoshi, the more I worry about Louis. Um, I mean, like, okay, like, I get it, but was that the proper timing to say something like that, especially in front of Legoshi? Like, what? I, I I don't know like I, I I like that scene really made me like think like what the hell Haru like like I get it like you're f like facing these problems and the thing that she said that the more I you know like you I, I feel more worried about Luis uh, I can understand what she is trying to say she's trying to say that like uh, something like yeah like I'm worried about Luis like uh, I'm worried about the thing that I would you know uh, I don't know like uh, anyways <laughs> like I probably cannot you know explain what like uh, I'm trying to say but still like I kind of understand what Haru is trying to convey and like say but like there's a timing you know like like uh, like after that after seeing <laughs> Legoshi's face how she he reacted I'm like damn like uh, like yeah it's kind of unfair for him and then like Haru says that ah that didn't come out right at all it's not like that it's not that I like him uh, you've got to believe me and Luis and I are done with each other we're not in love okay I get it but I'm just worried about him and like <laughs> Legoshi is like looking at Haru like what and Haru then says I haven't heard anything from him and he won't answer his phone okay and then then she says okay here's the thing uh, it's a serious issue when two herbivores aren't able to contact each other now this is what i was saying like <clears throat> okay i get it like they're herbivores so it's like a, you know a pack kind of mentality like we are like united we are strong or something like that like uh like mental what can i say 
like something mentally like that relieves them when they like know that yeah he is safe or she is safe uh, because they were like you know once kind of like good friends or something like that and i kind of get it what she is trying to say but like you know there's a thing called timing yeah, like it, it, you, you shouldn't have said something like that especially in, in that moment and that's why like i really feel bad for legoshi like no like this is something that i really did not like especially in this episode like for haru like and i i have to say like uh, props to um uh, you know uh, legoshi for you know like not reacting in any way and kind of accepting it i think like you know like the way uh, legoshi is trying to you know change for haru haru also needs to make an active effort i don't know like it's, it's really weird like the way it happened this episode uh, but yeah anyways like that really uh, like you know kind of made me uncomfortable and yeah and then like we come to the next portion of uh Hina and <laughs> and and he, and his like <laughs> oh, what was was that what was the name of that person oh he didn't even like get the name correct that's why uh, the <laughs> i'm not sure that's uh, that's a sheep isn't it yeah yeah the sheep got angry or, or was it like i'm sorry if i you know like i'm really unable to recognize the animals properly like was that a sheep the uh, girl he was talking with or was that was it someone something else anyways but yeah so <laughs> then we get to that portion and as always like pina is pina he is mistaking names of people and <laughs> and then like <laughs> he got kind of dumped in the end which i don't blame the girl for so yeah <laughs> and then like he says that um like the you know the like here now here's the thing like he's saying that i'm going to do an act where i'm going to die in the end and it seems as if he is extremely you know happy with the setting where you know he says that oh like yeah i'm going to die beautifully like like yeah that's me you know like after like doing everything dying beautifully and then comes a funny portion you know when riz comes in and tries to you know uh, like you know, like threatens him and like kind of you know chomps not chomps but licks his finger uh pina gets scared now now here's here it is like he was saying that like ah i'm going to die so beautifully but when like you know when he was really in danger he understood like ah oh, damn like like me saying stuff and actually like experiencing it is like heaven and hell difference and then he like also acknowledges that yeah like i'm like a baby you know like i'm uh like acting as if like that i'm the cool person like yeah i'll die like what else would happen like i'll be a beautiful like my death will be so beautiful and stuff like that like you know and then like when it really time comes to like you know when he faces some dangerous situation he falls down <laughs> completely and yeah like yeah that's quite true you know like a lot of people kind of uh, says that yeah i'll die so what like what's like what's what was going to happen i'll die like very casually but you know the fear of death is something quite like you know quite um like brutal like death is death like you die you die like it doesn't even take a second to die but the fear of death is something that is yeah like that's pretty you know like, uh, like that's not good so like in a kind of understood that yeah i'm like i'm trying too cool uh, to be too cool so like uh like he understands that it's kind of like you know <laughs> like childish for him but then like again in the next scene we see like him also thinking that yeah like even if like you know like i die even like the death and even the fear of death everything is mine so i don't care like if you like want to get me come and get me 
and he just you know exp like exp you know kind of like shouts it in front of everyone which kind of shows that yeah like at the at the beginning when like uh, Riz kind of came in front of him he got scared but then he like you know resolved himself he found his resolve and decided to know if i get scared that will be like you know that will be uh like Riz will be happy with that like if he gets scared and thinks that yeah like i probably should not do anything and starts like you know shivering cowering in fear like Riz will see that and Riz will be like ah good like i did it like okay like one person like i have de dealt with so Ligoshi is only left like that will give him the advantage uh, Riz the advantage so like you know and that will also give him the you know the initiative to exploit Pina like it will give him the courage to uh, like he'll start thinking like oh like i kind of did this before you know uh, like he got scared so like uh, let me do it even more and like he might start exploiting Pina in a way uh, well like which kind of you know like like showing cowardice gives kind of gives him the initiative and kind of gives him the opportunity to take advantage of that cowardice and you know exploit someone else so I think that in a way he did something good like he stood up from him for himself and showed Riz that yeah I'm not scared of you but that also makes a big makes it a big disadvantage that is like he is probably going to get targeted you know so yeah that's like a, a disadvantage and like it wouldn't be like you know it wouldn't be any matter if like they were both carnivores if they were both carnivores like they are equally strong they could have like done something like this but he's a hardivore so like he's bound to lose if he comes into direct confrontation with Riz so that's like extremely dangerous situation so like finding courage even after you know uh, like even in that situation is something that uh, I think that yeah like Pina really was able to hold his ground and it's really like kind of commendable in a way so that kind of shows his you know like courage and his like inner strength so yeah and uh like thankfully Ligoshi is also here if he was in this situation alone it would have been extremely dangerous for you know sad suddenly proclaiming that yeah like i don't care like it would have been you know been extremely dangerous for him but thankfully Ligoshi is here and after like he also like did the correct thing by informing the whole situation to Ligoshi and like uh after that like Ligoshi gets to know that and <laughs> Pina also says that i've already called him somewhere uh, sent the invitation Legoshi goes there and an amazing fright breaks out <laughs> and now here's the thing like according to Riz like there's two ideologies clashing here Riz's ideology is that yeah we are carnivores we should uh, like you know not try to make friends we should keep ourselves hidden keep our instincts hidden and we should you know um, kind of fake ourselves in front of others so that's how you can survive in this world and uh yeah and like in his own twisted way he also says that uh like the only way we can understand each other is by predation like if we eat eat a heart before we'll be able to understand him or her which is quite twisted in a way and obviously like uh Legoshi's ideology is no like that's not the way like you should like try to protect the heart before you should like you know become friends with them and like use love <laughs> it kind of like you know sounds corny but still like you should use love to you know uh, like what can i say like you should use love to uh surpass the barrier of carnivore and a hard before <laughs> something like that so yeah clashing ideologies and they started beating each other up and the animation was phenomenal at that moment like i really liked how they did it and and legoshi kind of got a cut which i kind of recognized from the you know uh, the transitions that they do like whenever like uh, like half of the episode is over they kind of do a transition where like there's the beastars logo uh, and like there's this three kind of uh, like claw mark <laughs> so that's from like here okay 
so like he got that uh, wound in his eyebrow and then they go to the you know the wash uh, the shower room and have a big fight and uh, i have to say like the way riz was acting it like it seems as if he needs to go see a doctor as soon as possible like you know like like it, it's like like it's like a like split personality like him beating him up and then suddenly like uh, like you know coming outside and saying that ah like we like i'm a little busy you know uh, like like he was telling that little old what was that that lady was with the mop yeah and he says that i'm a little busy like i'll come back later on and then like after getting inside he says that uh, Lagoshi, like uh, it's uh, it's quite a mess, you know. Like we broke this, all of these things. <laughs> wow! Like they're they were having a you know death battle, and like that's what comes out of your mouth. <laughs> oh boy! So yeah, like like and then Lagoshi like says that yeah, if I was like the previous me, I would have went away from this situation. But no, he's not the previous him. Like so, he confronted Riz again. They started fighting again and got interrupted again. So Riz decides to postpone this uh, death battle uh, up to New Year's Eve. So yeah, and <clears throat> like, like I have to say, like Riz's, you know, character. It's like I don't know. Like he is definitely at fault. But I think the major fault lies with his brain. Like I don't know how he went into this kind of like was he like this from the beginning or something triggered this change in him in his you know like uh, pattern of thinking. Uh, I think maybe it changed when he consumed them you know like you know the twisted things that he uh, like uh, conjures up in his brain like the thing that uh like he thought that yeah eating them kind of means that we are uh, be like better friends like what the hell and like him also acting like this acting as if like yeah i'm the good person i've eaten them so what i'll do it again and i'm not the at wrong here this is something completely uh like normal and legoshi and pina you're trying to um like you know defile the pure friendship that i and them had so like like these kind of weird kind of things i think that like either he had this kind of thing from the beginning like you know like kind of like kept it under wraps and it like worsened when he ate them or maybe when he ate them uh the shock of eating his friend kind of twisted his brain like this so that he can protect himself from the guilt that would probably be like would have crushed him so either of that you know either he was like this from the beginning or uh, the moment when he ate them kind of triggered this whole thing so like yeah like it's not that he's bad it's just that he is kind of uh, like you know like like it's like a like a problem a psychological problem he has so as like you know uh, like later when gohin says that you could have like Took him to the police that would have uh, settled it so like you know yeah like legoshi could go to the police and say that yeah this is what happened like you just come and like you know do an investigation and if the police came and they did an investigation he would have gotten caught easily because you know i'm sure like there is something that they can do to detect like who killed them like some kind of i don't know like dna test or something i'm not sure how it actually goes but like something you know forensics there's like they can do some something about the situation and it would have been like he would have easily been caught but louis like legoshi says that like just like gohin does like he does not uh like you know handle them the carnivores to the um, authorities he tries to cure them he was just also trying to do that because like if he handles him to the authorities he'll come out someday you know and like after that what will happen like he'll go back to the same person he was before and he would even be more discreet about it so like yeah like without doing that like you know 
Like he's trying to cure the disease, not suppress it with medicine. He's trying to cure it, which is quite dangerous and also at the same time quite time consuming, quite difficult to do. But who knows? Like he might be able to do it. Let's just like you know wait. Maybe like uh, you know, Riz just needs a good beating. Like if <laughs> like if Ligoshi beats him up, and like maybe that's just what he needs. Like he needs to get a good beating, and that would probably make him understand somehow. Anyways, I don't know. So yeah, and the my match is postponed to the New Year's Eve, and then like now here's the thing. Now uh, Legoshi says that I need to gain strength. And go uh, like it's not like not much time is left. So how what shall I do? And Gohin says that there is a way, and I don't know what way there is. <laughs> like some kind of special a special training, you know, like. <laughs> Like some kind of special training uh, schedule or something that if he follows he'll gain strength quickly I don't know but let's just wait for the next episode I'm sure we'll get an answer as to what is actually Gohin's plan for this so yeah and so yeah that's it that's it guys so this is the 10th episode I'm not sure how many episodes this um, you know this uh, season has uh, let me just go and check i i think that it's not list is, is it listed yeah okay 12 episodes so we have two more episodes left okay so i'm i'm guessing like uh, the whole situation with riz will be uh, settled in this two episodes so yeah so yeah guys that's it that was this episode this was v stars season 2 episode number 10 so yeah if you guys enjoyed my reaction press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the ch channel and uh, uh, you know like uh, comment down below anything you want to say or anything you want to share i'll be sure to check them out so so yeah guys um that's it i'll be back uh, next week with another episodes of beastars so see you guys then and until then goodbye and have a nice day